What up, my dudes? Uh, Harry Callahan back again for another sick trucking video. Sick! <laughs> for today, uh, if you saw my last video, uh, you will know that we are about to drive a ventilation shaft. Yeah, look, we got the shaft uh, from Latvia to Finland, I think. Let's just double check. Yeah, taking a ventilation shaft from uh, Valka in Latvia to Pori in Finland. Uh, let's take a look at the world map. <clears throat> for two reasons, partly because it might be fun. Second of all, the uh, Oculus is all hot and steamy, so that'll give it the second to uh, the steamify. Sorry for sounding so gross when I said hot and steamy. Um, that's not the kind of sentence I can get away with saying. So yeah, sweet northern journey. I'm talking fast because hey, we got a lot of good times to get through. Um, <laughs> bear with me while I uh, wipe the lenses. Not my actual eye like I did last time I tried to do this. Fuck me. Um, the reason that <laughs> holy shit. Off to a bad start. The reason it gets kind of steamy like this um, is because I'm such a hot dude. No, it's because um, <coughs> the um, the office was cold and the rift was cold. <coughs> but well, yes, I am a hot dude because I, I wasn't cold. I was downstairs in the cozy living room, uh, and you know it kind of um, it goes a little fucked up. Um, just trying to get my position right. Hey, you know what? Here's a thing. You don't know all this. You, you don't. You couldn't possibly know the trouble I go to to make, to make these videos. It's not much trouble. Um, but there's a degree of fucking around, setting up first, and getting the position right with the the way the headsets tracked and the way the camera, um, like you're setting up your camera view, because what you're seeing is not really what I'm seeing. Uh, it's uh, because obviously I'm in I'm in the VR headset. I'm seeing like you know a shitload of stuff. You're seeing a small portion of what I can see. But it's what I set up to try, to try and kind of give the most interesting viewpoint. So anyway, uh, we're hauling, uh, hauling the shaft. We're in a big uh, fuck-off Mercedes. Quite nice. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I uh, mentioned before, like, when I've got, like, a, an armrest here. Because uh, my real-life chair, the Eames EA217, fucking kick-ass classic 60s chair. Um, it's got it's got armrests on it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty immersive. It's also raining. Like Bilio, uh, which I may have mentioned before, I also quite like. So we're gonna need to uh, pop on some lights, pop on our wipers. No GPS in this truck, um, so we're gonna have to use the shitty kind of uh, computer built-in one, which I kind of fucking hate. But hey, you know, beggars can't be truders. <laughs> Did I just say truders? Beggars can't be truders. Nor can they be truders. Um, so yeah, let's hit the road. I'm talking fast because hey. We got lots to talk about. Um, I don't know if we do. I can't think of a single thing to talk about. Sometimes um, before I sorry, I'm cables all through my feet here. Sometimes when I make one of these videos, I kind of try and think of uh, some stuff beforehand that would be cool to talk about. Um, God, that fucking thing's really annoying. The uh, the what do you call it? The little map thing because I can't see my my, my dashboard properly. But hey, that's all right. Uh, yeah, sometimes I think about topics to talk about. Bite? Holy shit, I can't talk tonight. Um, do you think about topics to talk about? Today I got nothing. Um, but hey, we'll see. I just wanted to make a video because, um, well, I wanted to make a video because I like doing it. And because I am I wanted to play truck sim. I haven't played, uh, haven't played it in a while. I'm driving, <laughs> I mean, my driving is never great in this game. Um, you know, I was thinking about posting um, a link to these videos on, like, uh, a Euro Truck Sim, like, maybe a couple of forums or, or, like, the subreddit on Reddit or whatever. So, if I do that, I haven't decided if I will or not, because, I mean, who the fuck wants to see them? Uh, that's really into Truck Sims, because, you know, I'm really into it! I really am, but I probably don't take it maybe as seriously as some people. Um, if my driving's not great or whatever. So apologies if you have seen this, you know, from me posting it online somewhere and you're like, this guy can't fucking drive. He doesn't know shit about the truck he's driving, whatever. Like, I'm already fucking all over the road. <clears throat> yeah, if you're in this for some serious chats, uh, get the fuck out! No, please don't. Please, please watch it. Um, <laughs> but don't expect any uh, any serious shit. Some housekeeping, first off, I guess. Uh, two new subscribers? Hey! 17 subscribers? Uh, both exciting in very different ways. One of them is Chewbacca's dad, who I know IRL. We've had some fucking great times, um, and I've known I've known Chewbacca's dad, <laughs> um, also known as Mr. Kill, 
also known as JW. Uh, I've known him for, for years now. Great motherfucker. We have we got drunk in a shower once. Um, I don't know if you remember this. Uh, but hey, if you're listening, um, Chewbacca Senior, that was a good time. A treasured memory, me and you getting fucked up with, uh, with Charlie in a shower. <laughs> that was good. Um, who else? Let me, I think I got this, this huge name right. BX16V, I think. Um, hey, also sign him because that's a dude that I don't know. Um, and you know, I love people I know watching these. I love people I don't know watching these. Both very exciting in different ways. So, um, you know, this, I'm not the kind of fucking dick who is going to, you know, give proper shout outs or, you know, he smashed the subscribe button. Fuck that. Um, this is stupid. Uh, but hey, I'm, I'm glad, you know, when people are watching. I'm glad my boy Bort left a sweet comment on my last vid, uh, <laughs> in which he notarized stuff that he found funny, which I thought was class. Um, so I might try and address some of those things. I mentioned I was try making a drop vid tonight because, hey, I just I just want to. I want to play a game, and uh, and this is a great one to chill out with and stuff. Uh, I love me. I love, I love playing it. I love making the videos. Um, if you've watched any of my previous ones, you know that. I'd, I mean, it's probably obvious that I'm I'm driving, you know, in VR using the Oculus. It might not be obvious that I'm driving using like a wheel and pedals, G twenty nine. Another reason I'm playing it is because I wanted to play a game, but one of my hands is kind of out of action because I fucked it up playing Gorn. Um, I, this isn't me like plugging my other videos or whatever. I'm just saying that there is a video of me doing it where it's like a gladi a gladiator a gladiator. Did you hear about the Roman oh it's a true and he went down the girl? He's a gladiator. Blech. Um that's a fucking obvious shit joke. Um <laughs> But uh yeah, gladiator sim. Not even really a sim, it's just like it's very tongue in cheek and very violent and silly. But it recommends that you play it in like a fucking huge play space, which I, I don't have in, in this lovely cozy home office. And I just I fucking smash my hand into a bookcase, pissing blood everywhere. It's still really gross actually. Um Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of fucked up. Um, like, it wasn't bad enough to go to A&E or anything like that, but, uh... Oh, shit! Uh, <laughs> that's my shitty driving. Uh, in action. But yeah, but it, it almost was. I think it almost was. Uh, I took basically a big chunk out of my, uh... Out of my finger. So, and listen, no laughing. I'm driving one-handed. Oh, because I'm wanking like fuck. Um, no, clearly not. Hey, Tartu discovered. Uh, I'm driving one-handed because my left hand's fucked. Um, so my driving will probably be even shittier than normal. But hey, maybe it'll be even more relaxed and cool and vibey. <laughs> I'm, drive I'm the one-handed driver. <laughs> there was a great Adam and Joe uh, podcast, I remember, um, where Adam was talking about like cooking one-handed and saying he was the one-handed chef. I mean, it was obviously a, a, a wanking joke. Hey, I'm not beyond a wanking gag. Who amongst us is? You know, you think you think you're better than a you know, wanking joke. You think you're better than that? <laughs> I'm sure you don't. Um, if you're the kind of person who thinks you're better than a wanking joke, you will have probably turned this video off a long ass time ago. <clears throat> so yeah, one hand driving tonight. I uh, got a belly full of chips, uh, <laughs> which you'll be happy to know about. Um, well, the original dinner plans, because I'm sure you're excited to know about them, was last night. The cooked burgers on the barbecue. Holy shit, it's springtime! BBQ motherfuckers! Um, oh, I had a few left over. I was going to have a burger tonight. Um, like a leftover, lovely Aberdeen Angus burger. And then I thought, hey, why don't, uh, why don't I get a couple of chips? With it? And I thought, well, there's no point getting shitty oven chips when I could just stop and get, you know, a chip for us to share. Myself and uh, my fiance. Let me overtake this fucking caravan prick. Um, Get off the road, you fucking holiday cock! <laughs> holiday cho. That's Holiday Road by Lindsay Buckingham from the movie Christmas Vacation. Reimagined as Holiday Cho. So yeah, uh, chips. I thought, hey, fuck oven chips. Let's get real chips. You know, share a, a small chip and have it with the burger. I thought, well, could do that. Or I could just go the whole hog and get fish and chips. Which we never really do. Uh, so it was pretty exciting. But now i got a greasy, dry... It's weird i got a greasy... I feel like I've got a greasy and dry mouth at the same time. Very rare to be greasy and dry at the same time. 
But hey, uh, I'm a complicated dude. So I got water beside me. No, uh, you know, if you're a Harry Callahan fan, you'll know I might sip on a Lapsang Shushong now and again. Or you are Mate. But tonight, it's straight up water. Um, had two pints earlier on with my bud Stu. Um, and you know, I, I know I drive fucking stupid. I'm like, one handed driving, drinking water, talking about having a greasy mouth or whatever. But I don't like playing this after I've had a couple of drinks because it kind of kills the immersion. Because I'm not used to the feeling of driving after having a couple of drinks. I'm not a fucking moron. Um, so, yeah, in game, I don't really like uh, playing it pissed. But I, I'm, I'm not pissed. I mean, I had like two points of Guinness about three hours ago or whatever. So I think I'm I'm fine to drive. Although, hey, not to tarnish the uh, the reputation of um, of the guards of the guardie. <laughs> but one time I was like, uh, I think maybe I told this story already, so I'm gonna keep it pretty tight. Uh, but I was at like a, a seafood festival in Donegal, in Port New Donegal. I know I'm not meant to overtake here, but fuck it. Um, and, like, it was amazing. It, it was just fucking class. It was just this whole little village went nuts for a weekend on seafood. I mean, it wasn't really all about seafood. It was just hundreds of dudes getting around. Uh, I said, when I say dudes, that's, that's you know, equal opportunity. That's that's uh, fellas and girls um, for, for miles around getting pissed in this little village. And there was loads of seafood and storytelling and stuff. But in the evening time, it was just crazy. There was, it was just fucking nuts. But I remember like, having, uh, going into this chip shop. At the end of the night, I'm like, I was staying in this dude's garden, which is this whole other fucking story because he didn't know I was staying in his garden, although I thought he did, and my mate ended up like doing his shit in his driveway. This sounds worse than it is, but not a lot worse. I mean, I mean, how can that sound good? Um, he was caught short, he wasn't doing it maliciously. <laughs> but you know what? I'll tell the story from the start. Why the fuck not? Um, I know I was talking about what the guard was saying, we'll get to that in the end, so be patient. So, let me paint the scene. Um, right in my mate's house. Let's call him uh, Andy T. No, let's call him A. Telford. <laughs> uh, right in this house, and he says, Hey, you know, me uh, and Pierce, we're going to uh, the seafood festival in Donegal tomorrow. You want to come? I'm like, Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Absolutely, I do. That sounds amazing. Who's driving? Top is driving. Brilliant. Um, where we're staying, Pierce says, Right, here's the deal. Uh, my mate, uh, he's got a holiday home there. Or rather, his parents do. This was ages ago, by the way. This is like fucking ten years ago. You know, when I was admittedly a grown man. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, like a 22-year-old man. So still a day. And um, I said, great, okay. So Pierce says, yeah, this dude's got a holiday home. Um, we're not going to stay in the house. But he says, we can, we can like, put up tents, camp in the garden. Rough it. Like, you're fucking right. That sounds amazing. Um... So, uh, you know, we pack up the tents and we head down. We get to, like, um, shit, I don't know, like, like maybe five miles away from uh, from this place. And it's been, like, a four and a half hour journey or whatever. Oh, fucking hell! Cunt! You don't deserve that car. That's my car in real life, by the way, the Alfa Romeo, Julieta. It's fucking beautiful. Mine looks nicer. Um, fucking prick! You don't deserve that car, you stupid piece of shit. And actually, it even is the same version of mine, the Cleasy Only version, with the uh, contrast roof. Fucking prick. Um, can't. I'm giving the finger. You can't see that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, so we get there like five miles away. And then Pierce goes, Listen, lads, I love you. Couldn't get through to, uh, shit, what was his name? You know what? I'm not going to name him because there, there's some possible stuff he won't, won't want to be named about. <laughs> um, he couldn't get through to him. Um, so we're like, What? Fuck, so we're just staying in this dude's garden. He doesn't know we're going to be there. Uh, and Pierce is like, yeah, yeah, afraid. So, I mean, what are we going to do? I was like, mm, fuck, what are we going to do? So, you know, I figure, right, worst case scenario, this this dude arrives. Pierce says, I hope, you know, we didn't think you would mind us telling Whatever. Uh, you know, what, what fucking, whatever, who cares? So, it's pissing down rain. We're in tents. Roll us hang out in my tent. Uh, we got tents each. Actually, no, me and Pierce are sharing a tent. Tell for his own tent. We're hanging out, and uh, Taff goes, "Oh, guys, uh, I fucking, uh, I need to take a shit. I need to take a shit." I'm like, right, okay. Well, you know what? The bar is like, like a stone's throw away. Like, 
three minute walk. Just go there. Like, no, I can't. I, I, I don't have time. I can't, can't make it. Right. Well, fuck me. Right. I don't know. Go on a bus or something. He's, he's like, no, you, you fucking, you, you dicks will take photos of me. No, no, no. I said at the time, no. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get distracted by my <laughs> mate taking a shit. Um, yeah, if, you're, if you've if you come from like a the truck sim subreddit and you're watching this, uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm just sorry. I'm, I'm not. Uh, I am serious about this game in a lot of ways. Um, I will play it very seriously sometimes. Nice, not one of those nights. Nice. Hey, I'm the one handed driver. Um, uh, so, uh, Tuffer says, he says, I feel bad saying his name now, but hey, we're, we're in deep already. Um, he says he's not going to. Go in the bushes, which admittedly would be mad. Uh, he's like, No, I'm not gonna go in the bushes. He's like, Jesus, like, why the fuck would they do that? Um, I still don't know why he just didn't go to the bar, but anyway, he says, No, I'm not going to the bushes. You'll take a photo. I said I wouldn't take a photo. Obviously, I would absolutely 100 bazillion percent definitely have taken a photograph <laughs> of that happening. Um, so he formulates a plan and he says, I'm gonna run the back garden, so I'm gonna run up the stairs to the front garden. He didn't tell me it's in this much detail, but I'm having to paint a picture, so you know. Give me some uh, creative license here. I'm gonna go up to the front and like run down. It's a beautiful place, like a it's like a seafront kind of place. You know, it's right by the by the uh, by the ocean. Um, so I'm gonna go on the beach and go behind sand dunes. I guess shit there. I'm like, right, okay, we'll, we'll we'll stay here because as much as I wanted to try and take a photo of my uh, my, my man taking a, a shit in the wild, I wasn't about to go out in the rain and follow him down a fucking beach to do it. Um, so off he pops, uh, we hear him boom, 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 thundering up the, the, the garden like a patio steps or whatever. Oh shit, time to get the, the ferry. Are we in here? The Brian Ferry. Um, and as we hear him reach the top of the steps, we hear like a, dr a car pull into the driveway. And um, <laughs> now... What happens next, I'm only told uh, second-hand via the man who came in the driveway and from Telford himself. So I'm a little distracted trying to find... Can we just drive... Oh, I guess we just drive onto the ferry there. How's our load? I can get... Um, so basically, Telford's caught short um, at the top of the driveway. Uh, I, I know I fucked the timing up a wee bit there. I was saying that like you know, we heard the car pull up as he's run the steps, which was actually a few minutes after. I'm trying here. I'm fucking trying. Um, so, uh, hang on, let's press pause in this little second to work out where we're getting this ferry to, in case there are a couple of destinations. Uh, let me just check this shoot out. Oh, there's only one destination. Handy enough. Hell, Sinky. Um, hell yeah, Sinky. Mm. Um, ah, oh, just whacked my fucking sore finger. Um, so we get to the top of the stairs. Stairs? Steps. And uh, he's caught short. He's got no time to get to the beach. I mean, you see where this is going. I've already told you what happens. He's done a shit in the guy's driveway, so he, he can't make it to the beach. But he figures, you know, it's, at least it's kind of secluded here. You know, there's nobody else can really see. He just drops Troy and fucking does this dump in the driveway. I, I did see the aftermath afterwards. Um, I honest to God, this thing was like... I feel like I told the story in a different trucking video, so sorry if I have. Um... A lot of people who are watching this have probably heard this we tell the story a bazillion times anyway. Um, hey, this looks quite nice right here. Um, so yeah, he does this fucking disgusting dump. I saw it after it. It was bright orange. I remember it so clearly. It's kind of like um, like if you get like a shitty like you know Tesco. Or, well, I would get a Marks and Spencer once, but if I'm getting Tesco microwave meal, um, that's bullshit. I would have got many Tesco microwave meals. I do quite like the Martin Spencer's ones. As far as depressing meals go, they're they're not bad. Shit, we're getting a bit of lag here. Hey, fuck it, right? Um, that's quite a bit of lag. Uh, see this vile orange shit. It looks like a like a microwave meal tikka masala. It is the only way I can describe it. It's fucking horrible. Um, I know because I saw it afterwards. It's like something a dog would do, like a really sick dog. Um, but then. Midway through it, this dude pulls up the guy whose parents own the house. Now, like this guy, he's a fucking Liscan. I hadn't met him before. 
but the year before <laughs> the previous year's seafood festival this guy like ended up getting locked up for the night and stuff it like this is the kind of character we're dealing with here um <laughs> when he pulls up in this uh in this bmw um and uh and Tafford, like i'm assuming he didn't even wipe his horse i don't know i mean jesus that's so fucked um he he pulls up his trousers maybe he did wipe his horse i don't know maybe maybe he had time to i don't know he usually carries baby wipes with him he's got a lot of arse trouble okay um so uh he pulls up his trousers and this dude well first of all the guy gets out of the car and f for all i mean he's already thinking this is fucking weird because it's just some guy in his driveway and he gets out uh uh Tafford's kind of like scuffing his feet around trying to hide. Disgusting deed that he's, that he's literally left at, at, his, at his feet. And uh, hey, look at that. Pretty, pretty sunset. Um, oh, shit, I'm on the wrong side of the road. Oh, no, no, it's like, it's, it's Joe Carriage, right? Seeing him call up in the story. And uh, he starts saying, hey, um, hey, look at that painting off. Woo! It's cool. Um, he uh, starts saying, hey, um, sorry. Who are you? Can I help you? Meanwhile, the dude's girlfriend, I can see that that uh, our boy is kind of um, like shuffling around and trying to hide something like behind us. <laughs> and she kind of flanks him. And Tafford's talking fast. I feel really bad saying his name now, but you're fucking. Um, he's talking fast. Going, oh, yeah, I, I'm Pierce's mate. You, you, you met me last year at the Seafood Festival, and we're, we're back again. And uh, Pierce is here, actually, and you know, he thought maybe we might be able to sort of come at like, doing this talking fast. But the girlfriend, she she's flanked him at this point and just shrieks, "Oh my God, he's done a fucking sight! <laughs> he's done a fucking sight! Your driveway, Colin!" Um, and like Tuffer just sort of instantly braces himself, ready for this guy, just to fucking knock him out. Meanwhile, trying to explain like, "Oh, I was called short," and yada yada yada. And um, oh, shit, fuck him. I know I shouldn't have been tailgating that guy, but fucking breaking cock. Um, I break your cock, motherfucker. Um. And Tafford's like just waiting for the fucking imminent beatdown that he's gonna get from this guy. Why try to explain what's happened? And here's the fucking thing: the guy's such a nut job. And believe me, I'm not doing down how lovely this was. He was such a nut job. He went, "Ah, sure, fuck it. It happens to the best of us. It absolutely does not happen to the best of us. It doesn't happen to fucking anybody. Uh, it happens to the best of us." He said, "Pierce and your other mate are in the garden. Go and get them. Um, and then go on, go inside, get yourself all cleaned up, and uh, and, you know, just just stay in the house the rest of the weekend, like." In what fucking world would that happen? Um, where you catch a guy taking a shit, taking a shit in your driveway, and you invite him in to stay with you for with you and your girlfriend for a weekend? Um, but hey, that that is exactly what happened. Uh, loads of other mad shit happened uh, over the weekend. Like a guy, like jumped off the back of a speedboat. A fucking idiot, like jumped off the back of a speedboat with like um. With a, like an outboard engine on the back of it, um, I say a speedboat. It was more like a more like a, a dinghy with a, like a, a fairly high horse, horsepower outboard on it. He fucking got like oh, he got the end of his like, his wee toe cut off from the fucking outboard blade. Cause Jesus, <laughs> this guy was probably not the sharpest tool in the box. But hey, my mate's sitting on the driveway and I'm fucking with him. So I mean, what can I say? Um, what else happened? Uh, one of the nights was kind of blurry, and. I went to the bar for the second day uh, of the seafood festival. I'm standing at the bar. I like I put put my hand in my pocket to get some coins out to pay for my drinks. I mean, I feel like I really should say this was a long time ago. We were like s students and fucking dickheads. I'm a grown grown ass man now, so this isn't me telling a story. These aren't stories of things that I'm like proud of or think are in any way acceptable. This is all unacceptable behaviour from men that are effectively big children um you know i'm not <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of immature in a lot of ways i'm making fucking stupid ass truck vids and talking about my mates taking shits but this was a long time ago like a lifetime ago um like long uh, the thing would tell you it's like that bad like, i put my hand in my pocket to get like money to pay for pay for drinks and i pulled out like what was like kind of half a pair of glasses like a lens and one leg and i was broken at the bridge and i turned around to the guy beside me at the bar who i didn't know um I went, holy shit, mate, I've got like half a glasses in my pocket. And he, he goes, what? Holy fuck. He pulls out of his pocket 
the other half. It was I've the other half. I don't know where these came from. Uh, so I don't know. Like, have, have we met the night before and done something weird with a pair of glasses, or had somebody played a prank on two dudes at the bar and put like <laughs> two halves of a pair of glasses, like one of those fucking like heart necklaces that uh, you know BFFs forever uh, share? I'm going over taking the hard shoulder. Caravan ball sack. Um. Ew. Um. Yes, that was weird. Um. Uh, there was like a pint glass fight at one point, and and the Tafford tried to throw a glass at me or something, and ah, uh, like it was all nuts. Where I'm, hey, pretty sad. Where I'm going with this is that, like on the last night, as I said, we're staying in this this dude's house. Um. I'm in the chip shop. I'm quite drunk, and the uh, a guard comes in, an officer of the law, and he. Now I'm going to do like a really, probably fairly, uh, broad, probably fairly offensive Irish accent, like a like a Donegal accent. Uh, speeding, fuck it, who cares? Um, but like this is, I think, quite accurate because it like it, it was a voice that was quite funny um for me anyway uh, i mean you know it's, i think it's okay to find uh accents kind of funny in a way you know like uh, I, I wouldn't you know maybe it's not maybe it's not but it made me laugh it talking like this though i went uh have you been drinking there <laughs> I went, yeah i've been drinking i've been drinking and i i are you driving tonight are you driving home you know what this voice sounds nothing like his voice but in my head, the voice I'm doing sounds quite like the voice that I heard, kind of, but not really, because it, it's obviously super, super shit and over the top. But his voice was quite over the top. Um, are you driving to No, no, I'm, I'm staying actually uh, in, in a guy's house. And in fact, like, you can kind of see it. I was pointing out, you could basically see this dude's fucking uh, back garden, uh, which still has our tents pitched up on it, actually. Um, and the, 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 the cop then believed, like, oh, no, no, it's, it's all right, no, you don't need to be telling me these porkies. Um, <laughs> awful voice. Like, I'm from fucking like uh, like a few hours away. I can't even. Oh shit! I'm near a fuel. Oh shit! I just drove past the station. Ah fuck! Right, well, this could be interesting. Um. Uh, he's like, oh no, you don't have to be flipping to be. Um, what you do is you have your six or seven points, and you come in here, and you have your chicken snack box, and you're fine to drive. <laughs> I was fucking blown away. I was like an officer of the law, telling me I could have six or seven pints. Have a chicken snack box and I'd be all right to drive. Um, that is the story I was trying to get around to when I was saying I felt weird playing this game after having had two pints earlier. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is I'm I'm brilliant and I would never do something so stupid. I do a lot of stupid things, but that, that's some that's really stupid. You don't fucking drink and drive. Um, anywho, where are we? Uh, I got lost in a rabbit hole there. I feel bad telling that story a bit, but you know, it's not a reflection of who we are now, you know, it's a reflection of just fucking, just post-teenage dickheadedry. Dickheadry? Dickheadedness? Dish? Dickheadedness? Sean Connery? Um, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine. Like, who the fuck's gonna see this anyway, you know? Um, so what else are we talking about? Um, not even, what, that started because I was talking about having chips for my dinner. Holy shit. Um, so what else we got? What else do we got? What else do we got? Um, shit, I don't know. Um, feels like there's lots to talk about. Hey, tomorrow, going to a gig. Uh, I think I mentioned before, there's a local band, local to, uh, to Northern Ireland. Um, Hunk Papa, who I, I think they're fucking great. Uh, I really do. Jesus, look, that uh, pedal gauge is right down in the red there. Um, I think they're great. And, you know, I don't really go out much. Um, I mentioned, like, a couple of pints to my mate earlier. That's kind of about the height of, of my, uh, you know, uh, my wildness these days. Gone are the days of shits in the driveway. Now it's two pints of gas and then home for, for chips. Uh, but tomorrow, going to a gig. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of psyched about it. Um, yeah, I'm a tailgate, I'm a fucker. Deal with it. It's not real life, do I want. Um, do need to find a petrol station, though. Ah, oh, fuck these, fuck these slow pricks. Um, shit, this is... Dodgy. Dodgy, dodgy. Double car overtake, we're in a band. Hey, and you thought truck sims were boring? Think again. Um. 
so yeah, that'll be cool. Um, that'll be really cool. I'm really excited. About it. So I'm really excited about it. Um, kind of know a couple of dudes. Wrong way of fence. I know, I know, I know. Um, uh, yeah, I, I know the like the dudes in the band a bit. Um, so that's great. Shit, I know. What the fuck? Oh, is this my? Oh, what the fuck? Slightly weird roads there. Oh shit, there's a petrol station up there. I should have gone. Ah, uh, balls. Just saw it. Um, hey, this is quite pretty out here. I like when you get into the kind of more rural areas. You know what? Usually I talk about the game itself more this episode, for want of a better word. I know I haven't been. Um, I just, you know, like, hey, is it such a crime? Such a crime to enjoy just talking to you guys? Just, just hanging out, catching up? Um, so yeah, gig tomorrow. Should be great. Um... I recommend you listen to Hunk Papa. Holy shit, is that, is that our destination already? That was very quick. Hey, this might be a really short drive. In which I've told a story that I think I already told before in a different video. Hey, maybe not my maybe not my finest work ever, you know. Um so sorry, my dudes. Um Well, fuck, I'm I'm gonna have to find something to talk about before we get to the end here. Oh shit, look at this. That's a title in the corner. Shit, you know I'm kind of embarrassed in case like uh like like real like real people like real trucking sim fans are, are watching this because that, like this is a poor 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 example of driving. See when I say someone's a poor or something, I instantly think of um hey look at these cars mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um that's cool. There's a line of oh, fuck what do you call the dude kind of the um. The antagonist in uh, hey, cool tractors in Ghostbusters, um, the kind of the pencil pusher type dude, uh, Walter Peck. I think his second name is Peck. I like uh, Bill Murray's character, Peter Venkman. You know, says yes, it's true. This man has no penis or whatever the fuck it is. Um, he's talking about uh, Venkman, Bill Murray's character, and he says, uh, "You're a poor scientist, a poor scientist." And it's it's such a ugh, the way it kind of fucking bokes me out every time. Uh, he says, your methods are sloppy. Your methods are sloppy. You're a poor scientist. Uh, oh, like, even since the first time I saw Ghostbusters, when I was really young, the kind of delivery of that. I mean, it's a testament to how fucking great that actor is. being a fucking awful cock. Um, yay. Um, it's a testament to how great an actor is. That really is fucking horrible. And, you know, sticks to my mind so much. That's, um, we're not going to get a great rating for this drive, so let's at least try and, uh, try and do, uh, the parking. Not the top tier parking. Let's do the kind of the, the easy park. Um, why are we looking back there? Oh, well, surely we're nearly. Um, I didn't like it. Maybe just uh, neaten her up there a bit now, boys. Now, Jade, now, fellas. Company voice there for you. So yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm not using the gears or anything. Uh, like the, as in, I'm not using my my shifter. Um, because I'm, fucking, I'm the one-handed driver, aren't I? Um, so, it's slightly awkward to have to I put it into reverse by tapping the, the brake pedal, which is fairly unintuitive. TBQH, W, Y, to be quite honest with you. Um, shit, I'm fucking this up too, aren't I? Let's, uh, let's roll it on back now, boys. I've said before that um, even when the parking is a little bit frustrating, uh, it, it would be like a fun mini game, you know, just to just to do this. Let's roll around back here and take this one more time. Let's just neaten the car up a little bit. I think this is getting quite fucked up. T B H. Um, <laughs> I've really grunted loads. I realised that something I'm very guilty of is when I'm like. <laughs> like looking around behind myself, I'm quite <clears throat> grumpy. It's fucking, fucking disgusting. Oh yeah, sorry that the uh, last couple of vids had no game audio. I didn't realize after I'd filmed them. Uh, this one and the Gorn, or the previous truck sim one and the Gorn one didn't. So sorry about that. That was an accident. Um, Fort pointed out. Good work. All right. Um, so not amazing. Not terrible. Hey, the ventilation shaft was delivered. We got the shaft. Oh fuck! I clapped my hands and I forgot to my fingers, fuck. 
Ugh. It's um like it's not really painful but it gives like a, like, like a sharp pain by just like that the instant with my stomach go um so yeah all right um we level up yeah we level up so let's um we completed the long distance thing so let's see I maybe mean, we can transport high value cargo it's quite fun doing the the you know the um the kind of dangerous cargo stuff uh I think that opens up access to different traders and things so let's let's take one of those um yeah you know what? I'll kill the video here um hey you you've suffered enough not my best bit ever um I feel bad that I think oh, I feel bad for like uh naming people in the shitty story I feel bad because people judge me about the shit in the story like and, uh, and all the other fucking man that went around it a long time ago you know I'm just telling tales from a boisterous youth hey don't don't judge me people can change People can become old and sit in their pajamas. Well, I've actually, I'm in my pajamas. Um, and truck sims. I'm in my socks too. Yeah, that's why I was driving bad. I was in my socks. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's been real. Um, I'll see you soon. I've been Harry Callahan. You've been so delightful. Um, thanks for watching. Peace out. Blam blam. Yup yup.